Hey guys, it's John here from jccoduk and today we have the Natural Architects Profile case study. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at two authority sites and look at their architects profiles to kind of better understand um, the kind of architects profiles that aren't going to get punished by Google um, for being unnatural um, just because these are sites that we know are authority. That's going to give us a real clue. Okay, so the two sites we look at are Olympic.org and USA.gov. Okay, so we know both these sites are incredibly high authority. Um, both, well, Olympic.org is obviously a hugely powerful brand, um, and the world and USA.gov um, is obviously a very highly used and incredibly high authority government site. .gov domain, indeed. Um, I think Olympic.org is a page rank 8, and um, correct me if I'm wrong on this, and USA.gov I think is a PR10, um, correct me if I'm wrong again on that. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got ahrefs.com, and we're going to look at the backlinks, and it actually tells us the Anchitex profiles. Ahrefs, I've picked this one just because it's basically the best, it's um, the quickest to update, uh, it's every 15 minutes it updates, and it's just the most complete, and also it just has a really pretty interface to be honest. Okay, so I plugged Olympic.org in um, and I got back into the URL itself rather than the whole domain. Um, so let's just look down here and check out the analytics profile. Okay, so the first thing um, I should jump out to you real quick um, is that these are basically, I think this is the Chinese for Olympic Games and Olympics, um, is that all of these Anchor's profiles and names and URLs. You don't see any, if at all, targeted anchor text, um, sort of athletics competition or any kind of thing that you <laughs> um, that you'd think you know you, you would you would want to target as an SEO for certain keywords. But obviously, because um, it doesn't really need to target any keywords necessarily, uh, it's built up incredibly, incredibly authoritative and powerful profile, SEO wise for Google, I mean page rank 8. Um, and it hasn't set off any alarms with the obviously massive amount of backlinks, 1.9 million backlinks to be exact to the URL, so it's a massive amount of backlinks, number of backlinks even. Um, and it doesn't set off any alarms because all of these anchor text terms are names, brand names, um, variations of brand names for the URL itself. Um, so you see here Olympic Games, International Olympic Committee, IOC here somewhere, there it is. Um, and another great thing about it is that because there's so many variations with the name itself, you have no real term dominating the Anchitex profile. So, so while you have quite amateurish SEO nowadays with one term dominating about 50% of the Antic profile, like say if you're a bicycle shop um, in London, you if you had really amateur just am amateur SEO, um, you might have all your all of your anchor text as best bicycle shop London. And that just doesn't work, guys. It really doesn't work. It really sets off a red flag to Google, and this really shows you that you need a huge variety. Um, you know, three percent here, one percent here, nothing. Really, is more than 10%. I think, yeah, when it's like the highest one, 10%. Just um, huge variety. Okay, so that being said, guys, let's move on to the USA.gov backlink profile. Um, again, an absolutely 36 million backlinks. It's an absolutely huge number of backlinks. Um, and you'd think that if you were to create this many backlinks as an SEO, not only would it take um, some kind of monstrous software to do it for you, but it'd also off a huge reply um, to Google. Well, not so, because USA.gov has obviously been around for a while. I don't know the exact birthday of the domain of the website, but it's built these domains over a long period of time at a steady velocity. So let's go down and check the Anchitex profile real quick. Okay, again, um, USA.gov, the URL, www, a variation of the URL, first gov, no text, so I guess that's images, USA, USA.gov, the US government's special web portal, United States, so all of these below 2% from here. Um, once again, you've just got a real variation of um, Agtex, um, are all variations of the brand name. 
Singapore, obviously, as it's America, it's slightly different. Um, and I suppose different to Olympic, you have the domination of this USA um, .gov and text. Um, and that's okay, guys. You can have um, the majority. If you're going to have the majority of your own text being a certain term, it needs to be the URL or your brand name. Simple as that. It's just far more natural to Google. You can't have um, um, these really um, these anchor text profiles which are dominated by a single really targeted term. It's, it's just far more natural, guys. Um, people when they're, when they're making natural backlinks. Um, in articles and stuff like that, um, they, this is what people put in to create backlinks, and Google knows this. So having a good amount of backlinks with your URL or brand name is going to build up that natural authority of your site. It's going to pop up more and more and increase its page rank. All right. So that being said, guys, um, this has been um, the first part of our um, Angular Text Profile case study. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, we've jumped over to this PowerPoint. Um, okay, so I have looked at the Angtex profiles of these two websites that have a huge amount of natural authority in Google. And what can we learn? How can we apply this to our own sites when building our own Angtex profiles with our backlinks? First and foremost, as I said, guys, uh, you need the majority of Angtex to be URL. This is a no-brainer, guys, because it's natural. This is how backlinks are made. Well, this is how natural backlinks are made. People link to the site um, with the brand name or URL. They type in www.org or you know the brand name. So international. Makes it needed to be doing the exact same thing with your own site. Destroyed text there. Um, again, guys, um, we need huge variation. So this means, guys, that you need um, just try to vary up as much as possible um, the individual terms in your architect. So um, I'd advise that you try to find. Um, reasonable variations, so you know, change up between the www dot and non www dot um, stuff like that. Try and find abbreviations, perhaps, um, of your brand name. Um, if you can't, it's not a huge deal um, because, as we saw with USA gov, it's okay. Dominated. It's going crazy with caps lock it, as long as it's your URL for branding. Again, guys, because it's just more natural. Um, people do link um, with the anchor text, but with the URL as the anchor text uh, quite often. And Google doesn't stand, Google doesn't stand to this. It is a natural way of backlinking, um, and it's perfectly acceptable to use for your site when building backlinks. Um, and similarly, guys, it's okay to have targeted keyword text, but only small guys. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter if you do create an odd backlink uh, with that kind of targeted keyword anchor text. Um, just make sure that, say, if you're making a private blog network and a high PR private blog network that um, you do this on only one of those sites um, Google's going to catch on incredibly quickly um, if you do this um, the mass links. Again guys um, another thing to say um, these sort of anchor text profile um, rules that we're talking about here we've learned from these authoritative sites is that they apply only really to sites that have a large number of backlinks or Black backlinks that have been built with a huge amount of uh, velocity. So yes, guys, Google does actually, Google can actually tell um, 
the speed at which um, uh, we build backlinks, um, and it will be noisy if, if these backlinks have targeted anchor text that's unnatural, um, stuff that isn't your URL, your brand name. Um, and you really just think that those guys um, will be building um, anchor text, uh, um, anchor text profile, and backlinks. Alright, guys, so all that being said, um, I hope this uh, shortcut study um, helped a bit. I think it's useful to look. Um, at these authoritative sites um, and their backlinks and how they build up their authority um, because it basically helps us to kind of reverse engineer the things that they've done uh, and turn them into success for our own sites. Okay guys, so all that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed the um, video and as I said, I hope you find it useful. Um, this has been John from jcco.co.uk. Right, thanks guys.